Hey guys, I don't think I've ever made a video of actually how to make gaskets, so I'm going to show you how. Now for crankcase gaskets, which is the only gaskets you really make, you can just make them out of cardboard, um, like the cereal box type cardboard. You can use gasket paper, but I find it harder to work with. Um, cardboard sort of, um, you can cut out very easily, whereas gasket paper sort of rips. It's, um, yeah, just basically it rips. Cardboard's a lot easier to work with and does the exact same thing. So, um, what you do is you get your gasket, uh, your, um, crankcase cover or whatever you want to make a gasket of and then just lay it on a sheet so you don't get oil everywhere. Get your oil. I have, um, all used oil in here and this rag's just fell in there and I don't want to get it out because it's covered in oil. Um, put it on your finger and smear the whole thing in oil. Don't put it too thick. Otherwise, you'll get what happened here and um, a bit of a big blob. So, just get a nice film of oil and then you get your cardboard and you push it on there. Don't really bang it, just, just lightly press all around about three times. Then peel it off and then let it dry. And what this will do is mark out all the holes and your whole shape of your gasket basically. And then you can just look if if it's not 100%, you can look on here and see. So now I can see where to mark out our holes. So I get my little, well, this got little, it's all blocked, but basically you get your little hole punches. You can buy a set of these at Bunnings or anything for fairly cheap. It's probably about, oh, I don't know, probably five, ten dollars for a set. And then just get your hammer and your hole punches, mark out all your holes, then get your scissors and cut it. So yeah, that's a very easy way to mark out all your gaskets, so you can see all the holes. So there's one, and these ones aren't holes, they're actually for, um, uh, I think it's those two, are for the, oh no, it must be these two here. It's for the side bits, so the cover actually holds on. You'd know if you mess around with Briggs. But anyway, yeah, then you can just mark out holes and you're done. So, yep, that's how you make gaskets. Alright, so once you've cut it all out, um, just cut the inside out, uh, cut it about three times, you know, cut like that and then a little bit better and a little bit better and then, you know, put it on and make sure it isn't a fix up little bits. Don't be worried about too much about the outside because um, you don't want it to rip when you're putting it on. Um, what you do is you actually put the gasket in and, you know, bolt up, bolt it all up. And then once it's in, you can cut it. And that way it won't rip because it's got so much pressure on it. And you can basically just cut around. But I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that gasket's pretty damn good. So, yeah. That's how easy it is to make a gasket. So, hope that help you out, guys, and see you later. Alrighty, the gasket's all on. Now I'll just whack the cover on. Which I'm going to have to go off camera to do this, but I'll show you in a sec how to talk down the bolts. Okay, now you'd usually talk them up by having the engine um, flat on the ground, which is usually easier. But because I have uh, fuel in my tank, um, I gotta do it like this. So basically you start off from the middle and then work your way and you have to do it in crisscross motion but always start in the middle with hedge gaskets and um, any of these otherwise it will put uneven pressure on it and um, if you do it with heads it can warp the head as well. So start, oh god, I'll just have this, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> okay start from the middle so do up first do, do all of them up finger tight and then just do them up not just just so it's tight enough so when you're not putting any pressure on it you can't do it up with the ratchet so it's hard doing this one handed but basically just to there and then after you've done the middle one Just do them in crisscross. Oops, sorry. 
Almost. Didn't listen to myself there. Eh? And then this one. And then this one. Oh, that one I didn't put in finger tight. But it's okay. Basically you just put in the finger tight because it's quicker. And then start again from the middle, making sure you're doing it in crisscross motion. This just makes so makes it so it goes on evenly. Um, if you were to do it like this, these ones, because you tighten these up so tight, these ones might not be able to tighten up as much, so that's why I do it in crisscross. And then do them up pretty damn tight. Now these bottom ones I can't really do up. And uh Whoop. And uh on these Briggs engines it's a seven sixteen sprocket socket that you use, sorry, not sprocket. Now I'm just going to go and uh, tighten these up more, but basically that's what you do. You start from the middle, then go in crisscross motion. And then when you go, when you end at this bolt, start with that one again, that one, then you can go that one, that one, that one, that one. Alright, and that's how you make a gasket and put it all back together again. So I hope that helps you out. See you later.